When you are a damn gorgeous reader and you need the perfect gorgeous deck to go with your energy, you would need the palette card. So beautiful, so gorgeous, your reading will show your past, present, and your foreseeable future with amazing colors. Get the palette deck by Sap. Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. How are you? Relax, it's just a reading. Okay. Now, I'm gonna be jello like a mellow because I had a long night. Uh -huh. I've been drinking some tea and for you guys, I think I have to drink coffee. Okay. <laughs> Not sure what disaster we're gonna go to. Okay, so... Mm. This is my helmet okay, for the Pisces reading. How are you? Uh, make sure you sign up for the Jupiter webinar. It's on the 21st. Okay, just to give you guys a heads up. And the last day to get the first part of Venus, the magical Venus. Um, for the first part is free is February uh, J uh, Friday okay I feel like that's uh, December 20th I don't know when they air this okay that's why <laughs> so December 20th is the last day to get the the uh, Feb the February 1st Venus webinar the magic of Venus I will be talking about all the magical stuff with Venus and then um, we get the first part of the previous webinar all about the planet Okay, but Jupiter is in the 21st. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Okay, hope you guys are doing well. Relax, relax, Pisces. Okay, okay, let's see here. Let's see what's up. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, there we go. Big changes. No wonder I need the helmet. That's because there was a tower moment. Um, for others, this is also just, uh, you know, relocating and also um, moving to a new place. That's that one. Okay. Tower is always just about um, a big change. Okay. Um, normally, this is uh, sudden changes. Let's just say. I'm not saying that you're going to lose your job. That that's a sudden thing. Because you're going to get another one, you know. But this is also faulty. Meaning, well, you've stayed it for so long, you know. And you're not really appreciated where you're at. And you cannot pull the plug. So the universe does it for you. Okay? So it's just like, you can't say thank you until later with them. Um, it can also reflect in a relationship. You know, it's like, the universe has its ways of, has its way of saving us um, from things. It is not how we always wanted it because it's not angels coming in our life and just sweeping off our feet and then moving us to the better location. Or, you know, if it's moving um, or a better job. But this is not something magical at all. This is something very, very traumatic. Because this way, you will not go back and do it again. Okay? That's why the tower is in effect. So that things will not be in a repetitive, um, you know, it can be like, for example, toxic relationship. But it ain't gonna be toxic anymore because the tower comes in. And it's right there. Okay? So that's that one. Okay? Let's see. Full on changes here. Hmm. Number 16 is a tower. Got a three of cups. Um, I feel like you could have burned bridges. Okay, this is, it can be with your friends also. Um, like you found out that they were gossiping about you or your bros. You know, it's like your friends were not nice to you also. And you said, like, you know what, this is done. You know, it's like there can be some broken friendships. Okay, here. With three of cups. For others, you could have turned down. Okay. A reconciliation or you also just cancel the party you know it's like I'm not coming I got things to do I'm packing my stuff I'm relocating because um, this is one of those things that is like you know what I'm going I'm going somewhere I mean I can't be with you guys but there's definitely a big party a big celebration or reconciliation you were invited you were supposed to go but last minute changes something happened last minute and you're not able to attend okay if it's not a party, energetically, you're detaching from someone from reconcil reconciling. Okay. Let me see here. Yep. And you maintain your queen of swords. Okay. So you'll be cold. Okay. You'll be so cold and cutting. Okay. So for you, it's just like, why am I going to go there? You know, it's just like, I know it's fun. I know it's good. But I'm not there as of the moment, meaning your mind is not there. You're more right now and you know it's like you're all about your thinking ahead of the future you could be doing some journaling writing stuff okay or what do you call that the board the mood board billboard i don't know chopping board cutting board whatever board you want okay but this is what you're 
thinking right now. It's just like, listen, friendships, okay, with the Three of Cups. Like, we be out there drinking mimosa for the past 10 years, okay? We gotta be serious here. So you're going through some sort of maturity. Um, I call that you're being more mature than ever and being practical. The air is all about practical choices because it's very logical. It's, you know, it's the, the mind basically is the one ruling your decision right now. And that's why for you, it's like, I can't just come back and reconcile. Mm -mm. With the Page of Cups energy here, okay, there's some water sign, okay? It could be liking this younger water sign right now, but they appear to be more in a casual vibe, okay? You could be talking to someone casually and you're not talking to your friends. Uh -huh. You've been, <laughs> you've been keep, keeping secrets, okay? You've been keeping secrets because you know that there's a good chemistry between you and this person. So it's almost like, I don't want to come back with the past because there's someone new that I've been talking to and there is a potential. So you're keeping the past at bay while opening the doors, okay? Because King and Queen of Swords is here. So you are, can be connecting with someone, King and Queen. Mm -hmm. There it is. It's like, I've been talking to someone, so mm -hmm. that's the King of Swords, yes? Mm. And two of pentacles, you've been busy, boo. Mm -hmm. You've been busy. Um, you know, this is not balancing the situation. This is my normal life, basically. You have to go this, do that, you know, go to the bank, pay the bills, you know. Um, you know, so you gotta fix the garage, you know, it's like, or, you know, it's like, I have to do the plumbing, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's all about activities here. I gotta bake the cookies, you know, the kids has this, you know, all those stuff. You know, it's like, I got invited to this party and, and it's a padlock. I told them, good luck. I don't got time to cook, okay? That's what I bring. That's what I bring in a padlock. I bring them good luck. So what did you bring? Good luck. <laughs> there it is. And everybody savored the energy, okay? <laughs> That's why I never got invited anymore. <laughs> Here we go. Underneath the tower, Eight of Pentacles and a Page of Swords. So you're more focused right now on learning a new, a new school, or maybe you're going to be going to a new school, a new hobby. You're honing down your skill. Let's just say you're a musician, you're a writer, you're a chef, you're uh, a makeup artist, okay? Um, you're a construction worker, you're an engineer, you're a painter. Photographer, okay, because I feel like this is very much like you know what I need to focus I need to focus on my skill. I see my potential next year. I'm driven. I'm gonna go for it Because so, I mean you could be starting a new life in a new state in a new country in a new home and you need to focus right now Underneath the three of cups is a five of pentacles with the knight of pentacles so um, you know like there was a breakup between you and this person with the tower Nobody has communicated, but this person is acting a little bit slow, okay? When I say a little bit slow, they're holding, okay, to their message so tight. You know, they want to talk to you, they want to come to you, but mm -mm, no movement. No movement, hangman with ten of pentacles, okay? I feel like that's the past. They haven't moved. But you, however, here, you realize, you know what? If they're not going to move, I need to move. I can't be hanging down here, compromising my own time, my own gorgeousness, okay? That's Libra right there. And miss an opportunity on this with the Ten of Pentacles because someone here can be meant for you with the Ten of Pentacles, yes? Mm. And you're seeing it. Now, this person, the, the past energy, I feel like they have lost the chance with you with the Five of Pentacles because this is what you really want to offer. Ten of Pentacles, yes? Love, 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 love it. Okay. Underneath the Page of Cups is the Five of Swords and the Four of Cups. Now, this new person okay, um, that you're connecting with can be appearing to be egoistic, immature. Okay, They have potential, Okay, but I feel here, um, but if this can be also like someone is still trying to win you because they know that you, you're stuck with them and this person that you're talking to, you cannot really go forth because of the past. Someone is blocking the new person. The past energy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me see here. Underneath the King of Swords is the King of Pentacles and the Tower. There's a very masculine person here, you know, it's like wants to put a hundred percent effort. Okay. But they could have gone through a breakup also. I hope this is a new person to say. With the tower energy here, because now that there's a tower here and you're you have a tower here. 
Is this the same person that you have broken up with? Oh, I'm just saying, okay, that you are talking again, giving a chance. Okay, don't get confused. I'll, I'll make it clear for you. Okay, got the full card mm -hmm. and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so there is a big reverse here. So you were talking to someone. That was fine. I was going for that, okay? Now that the person from the past is going to try to win you. They're going to ask for a second chance. And then the Ten of Cups, you still love the person. I told you, it's almost like you were supposed to. Now it reversed. Because someone, the past is going to say, I love you. I care about you. And then it's like, oh my. I don't know what you're going to do. Okay? So I'm going to continue this reading, guys. Uh, that's a shocking turn, the tower. Oof. Okay, so it's a surprising twist at the end here. The fool with the Ten of Cups. Someone's coming back strong, declaring their feelings. The moment you have um, removed from it. Okay, from the situation. Alrighty, Pisces. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Link down there in the description box for everything that you need. Extended 1, Extended 2 is there. Also, the workshop and the webinar. I'll see you guys again. Bye. Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. We're doing your back massage. Sal needs a back massage. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. 20 to the 21st is your dailies. Um, you know, it's fast when it's a dailies, but before we start, um, there is an uh, astrology report that we did um, transit wise. Okay, so watch that. Um, we always would put relationship and partnership in astrology report. So basically, that's the focus. And at the same time, of course, mundane. Um, so watch out. We did a Venus in Libra. We did a Jupiter in Scorpio. Vedic sidereal. Okay. So do watch that. And uh, yeah, Sal really is hurting. Look at that one. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Twenty to the twenty-first. Ugh, hurts. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Then someone needs a rest. Four of Swords. Okay. <laughs> That's not me, okay? But you know that this is the lay laying down in the bed, right? So, <laughs> so I need to sleep, okay? Rest and relaxation. This is my R&R. &R. It's not the Range Rover. That's what I always say also. Um, I feel here with the Four of Swords taking some time out. I'm understanding that there are things in life that hurts us, but there are also things in life that makes us. So either, you know, you, know, you, just, you just know right now. You've healed. You've gone through the process. Having a good night's sleep, which I haven't had. <laughs> Let me see the other person. The strength card. Because mm -hmm. so I have a Pisces in my chart also. Okay. <laughs> With the strength card over here. Okay. Um, you could be dating a Leo, falling in love with a Leo, of course. Mm hmm. Um, but this is also overcoming challenges, right? This is what it's called. I feel here that there was a struggle between the two of you because can be the other person just always just wants to have sex. Sorry, that's what it is. Okay, this is eight house. Okay, <laughs> but they because they feel like it's like they're so drawn to you because they've never experienced something like that. Okay, this is also a person who wants to move in. Just saying. Prince of Pentacles, so this person will text you, message you, email you, I don't know, send a dove towards you, an eagle, okay, a rat, a mole, however they want to message you here with the Prince of Pentacles. Because they want to tell you how, it's not about I'm sorry, how they didn't have time for you recently. <laughs> Let me see the other person, ooh! It's a Cancer Leo Casper, okay. With they say if it's two zodiacs next to it, I like it when I go to the Pisces because I learn different stuff as I close the the zodiacs. This is gonna be a Sun in Cancer Leo rising because they tell me that if it's uh, zodiacs that are next to each other, that's how it works. Okay, <laughs> so um, with the Cancer here, if they are Cancer rising, on the other hand, they're very drawn right now to to stabilize their career and future and fortune. It, they call it FF. Fortune and future. I like this. I have R and R F F also. Fortune and future. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Next to the Princess of Pentacles. Don't worry. I'll bring you guys back. Prince of Cups energy. Do you even wonder where I where I take you guys? Because I always bring you guys back, right? <laughs> yeah, Prince and Prince over here. So meaning. Both of you are vibing when they tell us, like, I'm sorry, I didn't have time. I was busy. I was doing this. I was running errands. I had a lot of things for family that I was taking care of. And then for you, it's like, okay, well, as long as you, as long as you message me, it's fine. It's dandy. 
You're swooning by this person. Mm -hmm. You have your six of wands energy because you know that this person looks up to you like a diva. <laughs> no tea, no shade, but they look at you like a princess, like a queen, you know. They put you in a pedestal and they have so much respect for you. That's good. Because a strength card here, they treat their partner equal. A strength card is always, um, because I feel like it's more of a, how to say this? It's just like, they know what is the bad, so they don't want to go to that side. So let's be equal. Let's work it together. But it's not about reconciliation. They really just want to be with someone who is equal as they are. Okay? So with the six of ones, they see you as someone that's equal. That's why they give you respect. And they, they appreciate it when you understand that they what they were going through. Two people are having understanding here. Finally, people are understanding each other, okay? That's something new, okay? Huh, that was a good energy, okay? So both of you are understanding each other, both of you, like, well, I needed some rest too anyway. And then for them, it's just like, oh, that's that's cool because I needed to do some stuff for myself and other people at the same time. No jealousy in this one because you're secure with the Six of Wands. Same a name, same a name. That's a Six of Wands energy. Alrighty, Pisces. So I'm going to continue this reading as we move forward with these energies. Link down there in the description box uh, if you need anything else. Um, but for now, this is going to be your December 20 to the 21st. Stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching. It read Love Inc. Bye.